Hello everyone, uh, in this tutorial I'm gonna teach you to make something like this. So, to start off, you gotta make a new Photoshop document like this. Uh, choose the gradient tool, if you can see it, it's probably below the paint bucket. Uh, go to the gradient settings and make it something like this. To change color you can click here or you can double click on this. Alright. Uh, so take your cursor, not there, oops, around here. Click, hold shift and drag. Yes, good. Uh, as you can see I have a folder with a few pictures. Uh, a goldfish, water, and yeah, that's probably all you'll need. Uh, so, uh, oh yeah, and I have some fruit as well. In this one I'm gonna use the orange. It's a PNG file, so it doesn't have a background, which is useful. Uh, as you can see, there's a little piece of paper by the thumbnail uh, as you can see just right click on the layer and just rasterize layer and it's gone now we can edit the layer directly uh, so now choose the quick selection tool with W or just click this and choose the insides of the orange oops Make sure you get everything and not too much. Uh, yeah. As you can see, I did not get everything, which is quite annoying. I'm just going to use the erase tool to finish the job all right now uh, add the water which is not a PNG file so we're gonna have to remove this white thing at the top uh, let's try the magic wand tool almost just try to uh, just try to not delete any of the water just the white background yeah delete control D to deselect and just erase the annoying line that always puffs up all right Control T to free transform to rotate and scale. Something like this, I guess. Uh, put it beneath the layer of with the oranges on. Uh, make a layer mask right here. Uh, make sure your foreground color is black, choose the brush tool, and just erase it. Alright, so now it looks like there's water inside the orange. Then the final thing we have to do is to add the goldfish, and that's not a PNG either. So, uh, choose the quick selection tool again, try to get it something not like that at all. Uh, It 
it's kind of hard to get this perfect. All right, now delete. Oops, gotta rasterize the layer first, like so, and then we just refine edge. A bit of lag. Uh, oh wait, no, cancel. Control Shift I. I do believe or. Just deselect and let's see where the bloody heck is this. Alright, uh, rest, refine edge, like so. Uh, then you click inside the fish and drag. As you can see, it's, it's at least trying to remove the white background. I'm gonna put on some calming music for you guys to listen to while I try to do this. recording stopped for some reason uh, but anyway uh, now we can scale our fish down uh, like so and I think I'm gonna flip it around like that alright uh, let's change the blend blending mode to multiply yeah so it looks that he is looks like he's actually in the water um, let's see let's make a new layer right beneath the water layer uh, select a brush make sure it's black just do like that somewhere and control T to free transform make it an oval put it beneath this uh, turn down the opacity, go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. So you can see it blurs it very nicely. So, something like that. Let's duplicate it and put one beneath this one. And voila! You're done.